All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad. All right, I'm the Brother Ties of War. Back at you again with another lesson. This one is a quick article. And uh, this is from Rethink the Dollar. Yeah, RethinkTheDollar.com. And it says, The Great Reset, the global elite's plan to radically remark our economic social and social lives all right the great reset you know you see the main prime figures who push the great reset here in this picture is coming from the economic forum the united nations all right and uh they've been very bold about you know pushing a great reset which the great reset ins insists of uh the fourth industrial revolution you know if you look that up and you look at the things that they have in there this is the great reset you know a digital society all right everything more convenient you know you're not owning nothing and basically the elites having more power the main thing is putting technology inside your body all right that's why this uh satan's juice that everybody's taking and what they just mandated from the fda is uh just a prelude to uh go hand in hand you know uh with the end goal of the MOTB, all right? That's the mark of the beast, not the prelude, okay? If you can buy and sell with the prelude, then it possibly could be, all right, the mark of the beast. But but until yet, all right, the mark of the beast is that karagma, all right, that mark, and which is that chip. So it's, I wanna read this second uh, paragraph here, and it just shows you the vision and what these elites have, all right? This was considered a conspiracy couple of years ago and now it's not a conspiracy it's actual factual and all you have to do you don't have to take my word for it or the brothers he had great millstone word for it do your own research all right type in economic form look at those lectures those speeches and he telling you bold man this guy right here slops with the right you know on the picture here under bill gates <laughs> this man here man he wrote a book called the great reset and everything in this book they're doing in reality all right all you got to do is do the research all right so it says what will this change look like the global elites want to create a society of renters who own nothing and this is factual there's a commercial that i've seen uh where they are uh, uh campaigning for you to be uh well they're campaigning for you not to own nothing and in the commercial, he says, you will be happy not to own nothing. It's Davos week, the great reset. You will own nothing and you will be happy. Why do we keep hearing this phrase? What is going on at this Davos? Why are these billionaires getting together? And after making one video about the great reset, we've decided to dive a little bit deeper into what you think and further evidence and your legitimate concerns. It's time to look at the big picture and work collectively. That's the message from day one of Business Bonanza, the Davos agenda. This year's World Economic Forum has moved online because COVID. Davos this year cannot be the usual networking fest it's built its reputation on. Davos regulars like Angela Merkel and Bill Gates will check in from around the world as well as Vladimir Putin, Prime Ministers of India, Japan, Spain, Greece, Israel, Singapore, Presidents of France, Korea, Argentina, South Africa, Secretary General of the United Nations, Director General of the World Health Organization, Governor of the Bank of England, Secretary General of Interpol. The agenda has been shaped by the pandemic and organised around the Great Reset. So I suppose when you talk about it being a conspiracy, it ain't a conspiracy if it's candidly spoken about and uh, explicitly stated. That's not a conspiracy. That's a sort of an agenda. Like if you believe, as many people do, in the values of detachment, of letting go of possessions, then I feel like the best way to espouse and spread these values is through embodying them and demonstrating them. Nothing to worry about there, that's just a drone delivering a package to your door. That drone couldn't be used for any... Sorry, what? Yeah, you can keep that delivery actually, I'll just wait for the van. 
And they've misjudged the tone as well. You'll eat much less meat. Stop telling me what to do. I'm already vegan. What do you want me to do? Pull meat out of me? <laughs> An occasional treat, not a staple. The problem is with this video is it's the exact mood of like a dystopian thing that you'd be sort of forced to sit and watch with matchsticks holding your eyes open in a great big terrifying cinema. And then it just goes into bad things. Also, a billion people will be displaced by climate change. Finally! No, no, that's the bad bit. This is the first opportunity of 2021 for business leaders to come together to talk about jobs, the green economy, and how to shape future sustainable growth. You know, so they're trying to push this, um, this uh, ideology in your mind to a set than just being a renter, because it's more convenient for you, you know? But it's not. It's just giving more power to these elites. It says, what will this change look like? The global elites want to create a society of renters who own nothing while also pushing a society agenda, excuse me, while also pushing a social agenda that would be unpopular with the unwashed masses and difficult to implement in a society with a broad ownership based middle class. It says, what this means is that you would rent not just your home, but also your phone, computer, car. Damn. <laughs> this division, all right? This is Esau's so-called utopia of his new world order, right? Everyone is a, uh, you know, a slave. Everyone, uh, as what they call them, sheeple, you know? Uh, it says, though you probably will car share, the term for renting a car when you need one for an extended period and summering one when you need it for a ride and even the pots and pans you cook with wow and that's why they want smartphones smart refrigerators well excuse me they have smartphones we had this one huh, excuse me they have smart refrigerators you know they got uh smart cabinets you know they got robots they got all this to go into your house you know so that everything could be done convenient they don't even want you to leave your house all right this this is going into that um reminds you of the the universal basic income that they're trying to push through the fourth industrial revolution all right dealing with more artificial intelligence robots you know just straight up technology the flip side of this will be a radical transformation of the world economy no longer will you have a job in the sense that it has traditionally been un been understood instead you will work various and sun-dried gigs all of which place you in a precarious position at any given time you will receive a fee for service performed with no benefits paid time off health care and anything else that the middle class in the west has become accustomed to mm. as uh to facilitate the great reset royal population will have you be coursed into more concentrated population centers since dispersed populations have too high a carbon footprint, the suburbs would be a thing of the past as suburbs and observes become more like cities. Mixed use housing where you and 500 other people live in a mid rise condo hive with shops and work share spaces. The new vision of an office on your dime not your employers in the same area all right so you know that's basically the article i'll leave a link you know this is their great reset now what i like to do is uh read a quick scripture one that we are very familiar with but uh this is the lord's movie so and this is the lord's song and uh the song is going to be sung this is uh job chapter 5 and 11 to set up on high those that below that those which more may be exhorted to safety he disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise and who is the crafty that's esau he's crafting his way he's being cunning you know with manipulation gradualism conditioning you know the people into this new way this new world order so it says he disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise so their new world order is not going to come into fruition 
all right they're gonna they're gonna eat all right they're gonna establish but it's not gonna be accomplished okay it says he taketh the wise in their own craftiness and the counsel of the forward is carried headlong all right they meet in darkness in the daytime they grope in the noonday as in the night but he saveth the poor from the sword and their mouth and from the hand of the mighty so the poor have hope and iniquity stop it for a mouth. Let me go to the book of uh, Job 20 real quick. Job 20. This is Job 20 chapter, uh, excuse me, Job 20 and, and verse 21. There shall none of his meat be left. Therefore shall no man look for his goods. In the fullness, in the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in straits, meaning he gonna be in difficulty. Every hand of the wicked shall come upon him. Now, when you go into this word wicked, it just means laborer, okay? The laborers, the, the, the ones that's been captives, the slaves, okay? Every hand of the wicked shall come upon him. When he is about to fill his belly, all right? So Esau's gonna eat, he gonna eat, people gonna be marked, okay? System gonna look like it's up and running. You know, it's going to be up and running. It says, when he is about to fill his belly, Yahweh shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him and shall rain it upon him while he is eating. All right. So while he's eating, the Lord is going to come and intervene. All right. Divine intervention. When Yahweh shall crack those clouds. Okay. When he gathered them, you know, together to pour upon them his indignation. Okay. He's going to stop this devil from performing his enterprise it says verse 24 he shall flee from the iron weapon and the ball still shall strike him through it is drawn it cometh out of the body yea the glittery sword cometh out of his gall terrors are upon him and that's them thermonuclear missiles all right them icbms intercontinental ballistic missiles all right when it says it is drawn it cometh out of his body that's the silo comes out of his body it says yea the glittery sword cometh out of his gall terrors are upon him and those missiles are the lord's missiles all right he let he allowed man to create him but those are his all right for esau's destruction okay and the downfall of the kingdoms of you other nations as well all right but mainly for you edomites it says verse 26 all darkness shall be hid in his secret places a fire not blown shall consume him it shall go ill with him that is left in his tabernacle because babylon the great is going to be destroyed all right all of north america is going to be wiped off the face of the earth it's going to become a desert all right you know inhabited with with unclean and hateful birds as the lord said verse 27 the heaven shall reveal his iniquity the earth shall rise up against him yeah because you edomites going to be cursed you're going to have that curse on you as you had before when you was pushed out of the world and you was pushed into those russia caucasus mountains and you was there for a thousand years, okay? Well, the Lord is gonna bring that back upon you and the whole world is gonna hate you, every nation. It says, the heaven shall reveal his iniquity. This is iniquity, what he's doing, okay? You know, breaking news today, FDA approval, all right? Bringing more of that hardship, the straight gate, you know, making it difficult, you know? He's forcing his technology to be in you. All right. It says the heaven, the heaven shall reveal his iniquity and the earth shall rise up against him. And that's why scriptures say also, you know, even a tree shall rejoice when this man fall. It's that Isaiah, the 14th chapter. All right. Even the trees, man. You got animals in captivity locked up in your zoos. You know, they mourning. The earth is mourning. The fracking, the digging in the earth, taking the oil. You know, that's why you got earthquakes tsunamis you know they're in the ocean tan up the ocean man tan that ocean up man you know that's why the lord gonna gonna uh, uh 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 raise up leviathan that that sea creature all right it says the increase of his house shall depart and his goods shall flow away in the day of his wrath this is the portion of a wicked man from yahweh and the and the heritage appointed unto him by Yahweh, you see because that's for the sons of the wicked edomites all right which we know to be esau 
all right and he's in his blessing he has the end of his blessing all right and these things have to take place so you know we have to pray to the lord to have strength to get through it have you pray for more faith love grace mercy all right more knowledge understanding and wisdom you know for these times so that we stable all right and also put those curses up on the wicked pray to the lord to destroy the wicked all right pray for the lord to shorten the days for the elect's sake scripture say pray for a few days unto here unto this place man so lord willing pray this lesson's edifying all right just a quick article i'll leave a link brothers want to really read into it all right it's from the uh rethinking the dollar dot com you know so it is what it is all right so with that i want to give all praises to yahweh by shimmy how shy by hashem rakakwadash double honors to my apostles and elders of great millstone who rule well salutations to the lord's elect shalom